Good morning and welcome to this morning's vlog. This morning I am in Lanzarote once again and I am in the small coastal village of Arietta on the northeast of the island. Uh, and I've come, what, two and a half thousand miles to photograph a pier. So there's a pier behind me here, the pier at Arietta, I assume it is, I don't know what it's called. Um, anyway, I've come here to photograph that and also this beautiful sea and maybe a couple of other things that I've spotted along the way. So um, I'm going to go set up now. I was originally going to set myself up here on this uh, beach, but I think what I might do is head up the rocks and see if there's a better composition a bit further up. Well, I'm set up here and uh, I've got to be honest, I already, I really hate the composition. Um, it's not doing anything for me at all. You could probably say, well, why don't you move? But at the moment, I'm pretty devoid of um, feeling any inspiration for this pier, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm, 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 I'm shooting it down down the angle of the pier so we're looking down and out to sea but I'm not getting anything absolutely groundbreaking or amazing with it really it's uh yeah it's not really doing it for me if I'm honest I think there might be a bit more interest if I can somehow use these waves um, and have them as a foreground interest with the pier in the background I don't know so uh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna abort this bit here I'll show you the picture if it comes out at all but uh, I think I'm going to abort this bit here and I'm going to head a bit further down. The sun is making a brief appearance from behind these clouds, but uh, I've got the uh, six stop on now. Uh, so I'm taking some long exposures of the same shot. I forgot to mention earlier that there's some really nice reflections in the, in the sand here where the, there's little bits of water. I also forgot to mention that people seem to like walking right across the front of the shot, which is always lovely. Look at that, look, look, don't worry about it. I mean, there's loads of beach behind, but just walk across the front, it's fine. I want you, I want you in my shot, honestly I do. Thank you so much for walking in it. <laughs> anyway, not to worry. Um, I think what I'm gonna do now, I think I've done enough here. I'm just gonna see if I can catch this sun 
Uh, that's what I really want to do. I want to catch the sun behind the as it comes out. But it's just popping. It keeps popping behind the clouds. So I'm probably not going to do that. But what I want to do now is try and catch some of these waves because they're fantastic, these breakers. I might actually have to get in the water to do this and I might get a little bit wet, but it's going to be worth it, I think. So my shoes and socks are off, I'm in the water. I'm shooting down the line of this, um, the beach. I've got one second, I've got a one second exposure. I'm bracketing, so some are coming out at just under one second. Some are coming out at one second. And basically what I'm doing is, is as the tide's coming in, I'm just firing off shots, trying to catch the movement of the waves as they come in and out. I'm getting some really nice results. The only problem is, is with the wet sand, the tripod is sinking a little bit. So I might unfortunately have a little bit of movement every now and again um, that I don't really want. But my God, it's so beautiful here. And, and the sea is really warm actually. So I'm thinking about going a bit further in, in a minute and trying to get some shots of um, the waves actually breaking to see if I can get that done. So, but, oh, this is great. After a pretty mediocre start, it's really good now. gonna head over just back towards the pier because there's some uh, rocks that are just getting surrounded by the water a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna try and do a long exposure of those with the pier in the background to see if I can get a shot there and then I'm probably done from here. Quite an interesting little shot there with the uh, with the rocks in the uh, in the sea there, and the sea just lapping across a little bit of a long exposure there. Uh, the tide was uh, doing some interesting things, including actually getting my bag wet, which was a bit of a a bit of a scare. I nearly lost a shoe out to sea, but I managed to recover it. So hopefully those shots have looked quite good. Uh, I'm going to stop here now, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to somewhere else which I've spotted and uh, see if I can get some shots there. Ah, well, sorry about this. Um, there appears to be a slight problem. Um, in the next segment, you're gonna see a rather unsavory image spray painted on the wall uh, next to where I'm standing. I know it's there, you're gonna know it's there. If we could all just behave like adults and uh, pretend that we don't see anything, that'd be great. Thank you. And now we'll take you back to a scheduled programming. So if you watch my channel, you know I've got a thing for derelict and dilapidated buildings and machinery and the like. So I was driving past the other day and I saw this old uh, derelict villa and thought this is going to be perfect to take some shots. So what my plan is here is I'm planning to uh, 
nice. get the uh, wide angle lens out, the 17 to 40, and, uh, and try and take some interior shots. Because it's a really nice, uh, it's a nice old chair in there and some graffiti. And then some exterior shots with these, uh, with these fantastic mountains in the background. And there's some nice old stone walls and things that I could use. And this bit here that's completely uh, collapsed. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Well, I've taken some interior shots. I think I've hit every angle around the side of this as well to see if there's anything. Um, really and truly, it was just a bit of an added bonus. I spotted it yesterday or the day before when I was driving around this area. So I thought I'd come up and uh, give it a go. Um, I'm not sure if there are any shots. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but anyway, that's me done now. Um, I'm finished for the day. Um, I've had a, a fantastic time. It was really good over at Arietta Beach. Fantastic. Really enjoyed taking the pictures of the pier and the waves crashing in, even though I've got some of my gear wet. But never mind, these things happen. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me. Um, if you have, then please feel free to uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and you want to consider doing that, that'd be great. And uh, if you want to comment, then that's fine as well. Comments are always welcome. So uh, until next time, uh, see you again soon.